What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Become the Music. My name is Gary. Hope you had a great day and thanks for joining me. Tonight, I'm going to be doing another song by Taylor Swift. Um, I did one song the other day, quite liked it, and I've had a lot of requests for her. So I've chosen to do actually two listens to the same song. I'm going to be doing Death by a Thousand Cuts, first the studio version, and then a solo live acoustic performance. I'm really interested to hear the differences between um, the studio treatment where there's other musicians and big production and all that kind of stuff, and to hear just like the naked song, the skeleton of the song, just guitar and vocals, to see how it all hangs together. Because one of the hallmarks of a great song is, can you sit down and play it on a guitar or a piano just by yourself and have it stand up? So before we go into that, I'm just going to read something here I read on uh, Billboard magazine. I, my assumption was that this song would have been a uh, personal breakup song that Taylor had experienced. But it turns out that's not the case. Um, so what she reveals here that it was actually inspired by a romantic comedy called Someone Great, a movie I've never heard of or seen. But uh, the film's director and writer, Jennifer Robinson, said the movie never would have existed without Swift's album 1989, which was there like a best friend with a bottle of tequila and a bear hug while she, Robinson, was healing from a breakup. Taylor Swift then said, I wrote a song based on something Jennifer Robinson made, the movie, which she made while listening to something I made, the album 1989 which is like super meta, self-referential, self um, a lot of interesting kind of coincidences and back and forth going on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, quite, quite excited to check out this song by Taylor Swift. As far as I know, this is the second song I've ever heard in my life. So I've had a lot of Swifties commenting me, hey, you got to listen to this and this and this and this and this. So I'm quite happy to check this out. So uh, let's get into this. Uh, Death by a Thousand Cuts, Taylor Swift. First the studio version and then a live acoustic guitar performance. So I don't think this is a video, it's just uh, some visuals over the studio album track. Saying goodbye is death by a thousand cuts, flashbacks waking me up. I get drunk but it's not enough cause the morning comes and you're not my baby. I look through the windows of this love, even though we bought it them up. Chandelier still flickering here cause I can't pretend it's okay when it's not. Well there's lots going on there. Lots of studio work, lots of, there's keyboards, bass, guitar, that almost sounds like a harp, that arpeggiated chord. It's probably a keyboard sequencer. Very lush layers of background vocals, just going to back it up here a little bit. Layers of vocals. For the ages, but if the story's over, why am I still writing pages? Saying goodbye is death by a thousand cuts. Interesting. Flashbacks waking me up. I get drunk, but it's not in. I like that they go. She goes back to the original opening figure, just you know, instrument and voice. No, cause the morning comes and you're not my baby. I look through the windows of this love, even though we put it there. That's a good line. Just going to back this up here. Something about my hips, my body, my heart. I'm trying to find a part that you didn't touch. Very interesting. My heart, my hips, my body, my love. Trying to find a part of me that you didn't touch. Gave up on me like I was a bad drug. Now I'm searching for signs in a haunted club. Our songs, our films, united we stand. Our 
gave up on me like I was a bad drug. Is that correct? Country, guess it was a lawless land. Quiet my fears with the touch of your hand. Paper cut stings from a paper thin plan. My time, my wine, my spirit, my trust. Trying to find a part of me you didn't take up. Give you so much, but it wasn't enough. Trying to find a part of me you didn't take up. Drunk, but it's not enough Cause you're not my baby I look through the windows of this love Even though we boarded them up Chandeliers still flickering here Cause I can't pretend It's okay when it's not No, it's not I like that little break in her voice when she says It's okay, you can hear her voice just just cracks a little bit Adds a little bit, a level of emotion there Check it out. Even though we boarded them up, chandelier still flickering here, cause I can't pretend it's okay when it's not. Right there. No, it's not. It's dead by a I like that they left that in. It makes it more human, relatable, instead of treating it like an imperfection or a mistake. Cool. So that was Death by a Thousand Cuts, the studio version, uh, 2019 album Lover. Um, yeah, pretty good song, you know, pretty good song. I can see the appeal for sure. Caught a few interesting lyrics in there. Um, I'm going to do the live acoustic version now, and I will pull up some lyrics and just kind of read along and see what she's talking about. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Good to see you here. My name is Gary, and this has become the music. Thank you for joining me. Tonight I am doing a second reaction to a song I've already done, which is Death by a Thousand Cuts by Taylor Swift. And the reason I'm doing that is that my first video got blocked due to a copyright concern. So whoever owns the copyright, I'm not talking about Taylor herself. Um, what got blocked was the Live in Paris uh, solo acoustic version that I loved. And whoever owns that rights to that video or something like that, prevented me from showing that my video anymore. So I'm doing another reaction to the same song, but this is going to be the Tiny Desk concert. So a little more intimate setting, obviously, than the huge stadium thing that, uh, that you all know and love. And uh, what I'm going to do, because I really liked some of my original reactions, so I'm going to watch this and do a reaction right now, but I'm gonna intercut some of my original reactions from that first video because it's a little more authentic that my first listen gets you know those are my first responses my authentic responses so if you've seen that video already uh, please forgive me if there's a little bit of duplicate material in here but uh, I really wanted to get this back out there because I really like this song a lot and hopefully hopefully this one will not be blocked so uh, this is Taylor Swift with Death by a Thousand Cuts from the uh, Tiny Desk concert, the Tiny Desk version, that's what this is. So uh, let's jump right in and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's hit it. And I started, like in my life, a few of my friends were going through breakups and we were talking. It's like those kinds of breakups where you need to talk to your friend all the time because they need to talk about it all day, every day. So I was having a lot of conversations about breakups. I watched movies that were really like well done about breakups. In some of the books I was reading, there were some good breakups happening. And so this all culminated in me like waking up one day with all these like heartbreak lyrics in my head. And I was like, it's still here. <laughs> yes. Um, so I ended up writing a song that was a breakup song on the Lover album and I was Just gonna stop right here. I pointed this out in my original video of this. See the little blue metal thing on her guitar neck? That's called a capo and here's what it does if, in case you're wondering what that thing is. It allows you to play what are called open position chords in different areas on the neck. So let's say that this is a C chord, right? You could play it like this, or like this, but it sounds different and it's easier to sing and strum open and then change, right? 
So what that does is it allows you to take that chord shape further up the neck. So let's say that you're, you're writing a song, but that doesn't quite suit your voice. It's too low. So you want to move it up here, and then you can play the same chord shape. Or whatever. So that's why she has that thing on her guitar. For any of you non-musicians out there who are wondering what that is. It's called a capo, C-A-P-O. Okay, let's get back to Taylor. Good like, story, by the way. This song is my proof that, you know, don't have to stop writing songs about heartache and misery, <laughs> which for me is incredible news. Um, so this is called Death by a Thousand Cuts. <laughs> Flashbacks waking me up I get drunk but it's not enough Cause the morning comes and you're not my baby I look through the windows of this love Even though we boarded them up Great melody Chandelier still flickering here Cause I can't pretend It's okay when it's not It's death by a thousand cuts Just to let you know this song's been going through my head ever since I first heard it. That's the mark of a good song, as well as being able to play it on just acoustic guitar. That, you know, two, two, two uh, criteria of a good song is does it stick with you and can you play it on one instrument? Good song. I just to kill my time, I take the long way home. I ask the traffic lights if it'll be all right. They say I don't. Such a good line. Was ours, is no one's now. I see you everywhere. The only thing we share is this small town. You said it was a great love. One for the ages. But if the story's over, why well, am I still writing pages? Cause saying goodbye is death by a thousand cuts. That's such a great line. You say it's over. Um, if the story's over, why am I still writing pages? Really, really good. Flashbacks waking me up. I get drunk, but it's not enough. Cause the morning comes and you're not my baby. I look through the windows of this love. Even though we boarded them up. Chandelier still flickering here. Cause I can't pretend it's okay when it's not. It's death by a thousand cuts. That's such an accurate... Um, metaphor for a breakup. Death by a Thousand Cuts, in case you don't know, is, an, is a reference to an old torture method where literally a thousand cuts, you know, and then the, the person would bleed to death and whatever, right? You know, awful thing. But if you've ever gone through a serious breakup, that's exactly what it's like, where it's like every little thing is just like, oh, 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 you know? Um, everything reminds you and every thought you have and all of this kind of stuff and that's what that's why this is such a good excuse me this cord's bothering me um, that's why this is such a good metaphor because that's what it's like it's like you're just slowly being you know eaten alive like like that um, so yeah she really she really nailed it with uh, with that song title with this whole concept very very good I really like this verse. My heart, my hips, my body, my love, trying to find a part of me that you didn't touch. Yeah, when you get really involved with somebody, it's like it just takes you over and it seems like when it when it ends, there's no part of you that's you that's just yours anymore, you know. It takes time to get that back up. Gave up on me like I was a bad drug. I remember that line from the from the studio version there. Very good, very good. Upon me like I was a bad drug. Now I'm searching for signs in a haunted club. Our songs, our films, united we stand. Our country, guess it was a lawless land. Quiet my fears with the touch of your hand. Paper cut stings from a paper pen. My time. 
time, my wine, my spirit, my trust. Trying to find a part of me, it didn't take up. Gave you too much, but it wasn't enough. Gave you too much, but it wasn't enough. Yep. Sorry. I'll be all right, it's just a thousand cuts. Yeah, I'll be all right. It's just a thousand cuts, right? Um, trying to find a part of me you didn't take up, you know, my heart, my hips, my whatever, like, yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly it, right? Really, really good. I get drunk, but it's not enough. Cause you're not my baby. I look through the windows of this love, even though we boarded them up. She sings really well. She plays really well also. It's very clean. Her guitar part's very clean. It's okay when it's not. Ask the traffic lights if it'll be all right. They say I don't know. Okay, I'll say it right here. That's a fantastic song. It's really, really good. Um, it's so good that I think I'm gonna learn it. Yeah, I really like that a lot. Some of these lines, very, very strong. Yeah, she writes really well. Absolutely, can't deny that. Can't pretend it's okay when it's not. Trying to find a part of me that you didn't touch. Yeah, that's really great. What was this one? Gave you too much, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, right there, man. Fantastic, really enjoyed that, I gotta say. And I wanted to add also that uh, I actually prefer the live version. I, I do, it's, it's just, um, as a singer-songwriter myself who plays a lot of acoustic guitar, as I say, it's nice to hear how strong a song is, and that just stands on its own as a really strong song with just her guitar and voice. Uh, it was actually quite beautiful. Um, drop some comments below. Um, yeah, that was awesome. I'm gonna check out some more of her stuff. I'm quite surprised how much I like that. I, I, that doesn't, don't take that the wrong way. I've just never been exposed to her, and you know, as a, guy who listens to a lot of heavy guitar music and things like that um i always just sort of brushed her off on some level because i'd never heard her you know and i just thought oh there's another pop girl whatever you know didn't really didn't never gave her a chance and now i'm giving her a chance and that song was was really quite affecting i'm going to leave my reaction in to one particular line from the live in paris that really really struck me and the line was um I gave it all, but it wasn't enough. Something like that, right? And you'll see in my reaction from the first video that was, that's been blocked, um, that that line really hit me. It really affected me. So uh, hopefully this video does not get blocked. Thank you for sitting through this again with me. Um, yeah, what can I say? That's, that's, a, that's a killer song. Like it's really, really great. I really like that song a lot. And she pulls it off so well, her voice is beautiful to listen to her guitar playing is really clean as i say the concept of the song is fantastic um equating a, a breakup to a torture method you know and um just all these little things that really hit you you know you wander around the town and you think like what makes sense you know she mentions looking at the track i asked the traffic lights will it be all right they say i don't know that's the thing everything in your life gets kind of turned upside down and everyday things just kind of don't make sense to you anymore you know is it going to be all right i don't know you know it's death by a thousand cuts so um not much more to say on that one uh i really like that song a lot and again i like the acoustic version better than the album version very much but uh yeah man the girl can write a song there's no question looking forward to diving into some more of her stuff i've already done one song off the long pond studio sessions and i'm uh, going to be looking at a lot more of her acoustic solo stuff and that sort of thing as well as some of her albums because i want to kind of get the whole picture you know and i know she's got a lot of output she has a lot of material out there so thank you again for your time and i uh, hope to see you on the next video i hope all is well take care and have a great night thank you